all right back for another video let's see if we can integrate e to the x sine x all right so let's go ahead and get started and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to do it using parts so let's get started so when you're doing this what you want to do is you want to let u equal sine x and we're going to let dv equal e to the x dx all right so we know du is equal to cosine x and v whoop, i'm sorry is cosine x dx and v is e to the x so this is going to give us so you know the formula for parts right all right so the formula for parts is if you have the integral u db that is equal to u times v minus the integral of uh, v du so it's it's this times this see ah yeah u times v u times v minus the integral of v times du okay so that's going to give us e to the x sine x minus the integral e to the x cosine x dx all right so looks like that didn't do us a whole lot of good right well sometimes we have to do parts more than once so let's do it again so now remember what we're doing here is we're just doing parts on this part okay so i'm gonna let u equal uh, let's change colors I'm going to let u equal cosine x and dv equal e to the x dx. So du is negative sine x dx and v is e to the x. So we're using the same formula. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, I'm going to write down this part okay so that's going to equal e to the x sine x minus and then i'm going to put in a bracket now this okay so this i broke up into parts so that's going to be u times v so that's e to the x cosine x minus the integral e to the x sine x dx now look this is a minus x so this minus okay so that see see that would be a negative sine x but the negative and negative make this a positive okay all right so now we're going to get e to the x sine x minus e to the x cosine x minus the integral e to the x sine x dx so look at this now we are right back where we started so basically we've got this thing which we have the integral e to the x sine x dx is equal to this which is e to the x so all i did here is i wrote the problem down is equal to e to the x sine x minus e to the x cosine x minus the integral e to the x sine x dx but we are trying to find the integral of e to the x sine x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
add e to the x sine x dx to both sides. And so this is going to give me 2 times the integral e to the x sine x dx. See, they, they cancel out over here. And this plus this, I have two of them, like combining like terms. All right. And then just multiply everything by a half, and we get the integral e to the x sine x dx is equal to one half e to the x sine x minus one half e to the x cosine x. And then what can we not forget to do? Whoop. Plus c. And so this is your answer. And another way you could write this is look, factor out that e to the x. Looks better, don't it? All right. So that's it. That's the video. You see how easy that was? Wasn't bad at all. All right, so I hope this video helped it. I helped you. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.